It's been a while, I'm very much aware. Um, I've been MIA for quite some time. <laughs> My last vlog was a Christmas vlog, I believe, which was 2023, and 2023 has almost been three months ago. I was finally able now to make this video and tell you all about how my 2024 has been going because it's been very rocky, uh, which is why I haven't really been able to make this video any sooner. My first few days of 2024 actually went fine. I decided to find a new job behind the scenes working for television. Um, so I had like three interviews or just like a cup of coffee uh, with three different companies. And um, those actually went really, really well. I was so happy and I felt so fortunate to be in that position. You know, I really wanted to get back into full work mode. Um, for an employer. Even though I love doing this, my passion is more behind the camera. It was never in front of the camera. But I was still really nervous for how my body was going to react uh, to making TV again. I uh, took one of the jobs and I was gonna start that next Monday. So this was like on a Thursday and I was gonna start the next Monday. Then I got sick. <laughs> on Sunday, Somebody who had the Mexican flu actually gave me the Mexican flu and I also got in Dutch it's pneumococcus. This is the English word and I didn't know when it started that I had these things. I did show up for my first day at work on that Monday because I thought oh I'll be fine. It's just like I feel a little under the weather. Um, but I think at like 2 p.m. I was sent home because I had no voice left over and um, I wasn't able to function properly. I felt really bad about that because it was my first day at my new job and I get sick. But I did know that I had to go home because I really wasn't doing well. So I went home and I got really, really, really sick. Like even during chemotherapy i've been through it all this was one of the worst experiences i've had so far it was so bad um i actually ended up in the hospital and i actually had my first ambulance ride of my life i had never been in an ambulance before i'm laughing about it but i felt so uncomfortable i think i was in the hospital for three days and i have to say the department i was on in the hospital wasn't really paying any attention to me. I was laying in, I was, it was disgusting. I was disgusting. So like after three days when I could swallow pills again, uh, I decided to leave the hospital because I wasn't feeling comfortable there. And before I couldn't leave because I had to get everything on a drip. And I ended up being bedridden for two weeks when I felt like I could do something for work. I decided to start working from home for a few days and then I went to the office um, and I wasn't 100% better, but I did, I did want to do something. Uh, and I ended up eventually being sick for like five weeks, uh, which is a very long time and it was just insane. Uh, but I did work those last few weeks of me being sick. Because this apartment gets really small if the only thing you can do is lay on this couch and do nothing. Honestly, I couldn't even read a book. So far this year, I've only read four books, five books. Let me check Goodreads. I read five books this year so far. And I was expecting to have read ten books by now. But I read five books and I read none in those weeks that I was sick. But that also meant that I couldn't really get back into this because I was putting all my energy into what I could for work, for my job. And then after those five weeks when I actually got better, I got sick again. <laughs> yeah, that lasted two weeks. Um, I feel better now, but uh, I did go to my doctor and we are going to do some new tests because I have been feeling very unwell. 
in extreme ways. And besides those two sicknesses, I have been in a lot of pain. I'm very fatigued. Um, I just don't feel the same. So we are gonna go back to the hospital to do some tests, just to see if there's anything underlying that's going on. And while all of this was going on, my grandma had to be placed out of her apartment and we had to say goodbye to her apartment, which was actually really sad. And uh, she's now living in a facility and she's doing really well. She's 92, but this woman looks like she's 60. Um, she's still going strong, but she just couldn't stay in an apartment because she had fallen uh, like at the end of last year and it was just not safe for her to be in that apartment anymore. But it's just memories my entire life she had lived in that apartment and now we just have to say goodbye to it so that was crazy i did like um get some stuff from her apartment that she didn't want anymore uh and i got some jewelry so i'm i'm wearing stuff like that my parents were selling their house which is my childhood home so mentally there was a lot going on um and then i had my new job but i couldn't go to my new job but now i'm having a lot of fun at my new job by the way i'm so happy to be back behind the camera like you can't even imagine it's been really good you can get some sneak peeks on my instagram um if you if you want to see that and also the problem is that i now have a lot of anxiety about going to public places so I find it really difficult right now to do groceries on a Saturday, for example, or um, go to a restaurant or just be with a lot of people because I'm so afraid to get sick again. I, I don't even think that I've seen all of my friends this year so far. So right now I'm doing fine. Like I could be better, but I'm doing fine. I'm trying to make 2024 better than uh, better than how it started. My birthday is next month, so let's hope that April is so much better than January, February, and March. And I apologize for not communicating anything sooner, but it's just been a very overwhelming everything has been very overwhelming and it's, there was not enough space to sit here properly and talk to you guys so i really needed to take some time to get better focus on my new job get some rest see some people and i do have to say though that i probably won't be continuing vlogging on a weekly basis um because I really want to get back into full-time working for TV. I'm not saying that this is going to be my very last vlog ever, um, but I am saying goodbye to full-time vlogging, which feels really crazy because the past years has helped me a lot through everything. You guys helped me through so much, which I'm forever grateful for, but it's time for like, some next steps in life and um to follow my passion and my dreams like i really want to get back to that uh, but for now this is a um see you later and and i don't know how soon later is gonna be and if there is a major update i will be sharing either on this platform or probably my instagram but from the bottom of my heart thank you and i hope you all are doing well and just know with everything that you're probably going through, you're definitely not alone. Okay. Um, oh, it's really hard to finish a video knowing that this might be your last. 2024 is going to be a good year, okay? We're just going to manifest it. Okay. Thank you, guys. And um, I'll see you later.